clean one of their cages. Ooh, actually, let me get comfortable here. So it's Halloween 2020, which means nothing is going on. I'm wearing my best Harry Potter shirt and leopard print skirt, and I'm gonna attempt to clean Steven's cage. It's nighttime, so Steven is kind of awake, but I'm gonna see if I can work around that because this cage is really gross. Last time I set up his cage in this 200 quart bin, I used Aspen, and it turns out I'm pretty allergic to Aspen. So I'm going to put on my COVID-19 mask with a filter and also some Harry Potter glasses in the hopes that I don't have an asthma attack while cleaning his cage. We'll see. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to be cleaning, and then I'm going to try to figure out how to incorporate a new little wooden house. You can see right where my thumb is right there. I got this new wooden house for my birthday last week, which is amazing. It's from Love Drizzle Shop on Etsy, and I'll put a link to that below. I love all their little hamster hides, and now that I have hamsters, I know that you can never have too many hamster hides. My hamsters love hides, and you can, they use them for different things. One hide might be a potty, just to warn you, but another one might be a little stash for their food, or another one might be just where they hang out and, you know, think about life. So get a lot of cute hides because your hamsters are going to look adorable in them and they'll be happy and healthy little guys. And so I'm going to try to figure out where to put this house and um, maybe rearrange things a little bit. We'll see. I'll give you a quick cage tour before we start. Okay, so this is Steven's cage right now. So as you can see right now, I have the Zacro acrylic wheel and if you can tell he pees a lot in it it's actually the first thing he does when he wakes up so i often clean this wheel and then he wakes up and he gets in it and he pees and then he runs in it so i am constantly cleaning his wheel i have another one the night angel medium size silent uh silent wheel so i'm gonna put that in there where is that, that right there so i'm gonna replace that there and then He's been tearing up this particular sand bath right there. It's like this long kind of acrylic tray thing that I put in there. I don't know what the deal is, um, but he loves to dig in there. And he's been pulling in all of his fluffy paper bedding and putting it in there. I don't fully understand why, but I'm gonna try to clean that up. And then over here is his other house. I don't know that he spends this much time in this sand area. I'm not sure. So. I maybe I'm gonna replace it with that house right there. And um, maybe that'll be a bigger hit. I like this house just fine, but it's a little big compared to him. So I feel like maybe he just doesn't feel very cozy in it. Um, other things I'm gonna do, just try to generally clean up, maybe give him a little more paper bedding to burrow in. And I might rearrange a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much because he's awake. I think he's hiding, but he's awake, probably. It's like 10.30. He usually gets up at like 12.30 or 1, but in this time period, he's kind of like awake but rummaging around. So that's the gist. So I'm going to put you on time lapse and you can see me get to work. finished. <sighs> I'm tired. All right, let me give you a tour. So I did rearrange a few things here. So the sand bath, this long sand bath, it used to be over there. Whew, I can feel that aspen. Um, it used to be over here with like, and this was a wall along with an acrylic shelf that I have over there. I decided to take that out because I felt like he wasn't really using that part of the cage. And I think it's because of that wall was keeping him from going directly in. So instead I took one of his tubes here and then I had it go straight into a pile of fluffy stuff. And um, 
built that up a little bit, so hopefully he'll enjoy that. He did poke his nose out a few times and then scurried away. You probably couldn't see it on the time lapse, but he is awake and anxiously waiting for me to be done. Uh, so this I didn't touch, same deal. I kept this right here. I fiddled around with it, but then I came back to it because it's nice to have a hard, I have this little wooden fit platform that I got from Michael's and it's just great to have a hard surface for water. Otherwise, I don't know where I would put it. It would get knocked over. Um, so I relocated this sand bath. First, I put it through a, a sieve to clean out all the stuff that he had thrown in there and get out any pee. Um, he actually doesn't tend to pee too much in his sand bath, unlike Sophia. So it was pretty clean just getting getting the food and stuff out of there. Um, so now I relocated it over here, so maybe it feels more of like an extended sand bath to him. And I put the hide over, or the spendy bridge over top of it to provide him with some cover. And then I gave him his new little house, which hopefully he likes. I kept the moss and I added some wheat spray. I don't know if he's gonna know what it is. He hasn't ever shown interest in it, but um, Sophia recently discovered her wheat spray, so I'm gonna give it another chance with Steven. I replaced his wheel with the Night Angel uh, silent, silent wheel. I love this wheel. I think this is my favorite wheel of all the wheels I have. It is like so silent. It's really wide. He still kind of goes a little crazy on it and sometimes flips around, but um, it's pretty good. I think it's the best I've seen for him. And then I have this like antique candy ball that I got at a Goodwill. This seems to work pretty good because he can get his whole little bod in there and I like that it's clear. And then I took, oh, I already said this, this tube going into the fluff. So I'm hoping maybe he'll use that for some sort of tunneling system. And then he's got a little hole right there, which maybe he'll come out soon. And that is it for today, guys. So I'm gonna turn off the lights, all the lights, including the fairy lights, put him in my bedroom and let him explore. And maybe I'll take some footage if he comes out soon. All right. Wow, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.